Hi, hello everyone. Today I'm going to walk through a code implementation for Rack with LLM, Pinecone, and Launchain. Okay, without further ado, let me go through the slides I have prepared. So first of all, what is Rack? Rack is Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's a technique for enhancing LLM by providing extra data to help it, help it to answer questions. So what's the benefit of using REC? <clears throat> so it bypasses fine-tuning your large language model. Generally, fine-tuning a large language model requires quite some uh, of money. So for some of the case, you don't really want to do that. And also, in some case, you don't want to put your private data to um, the large language model. So that help you to avoid exposing your pre proprietary data. Okay, so let me also first run through the flow of RAG. So how it works. First of all, you have to index your data and store it into a vector database. So in my case, I'm using a uh, pinecorn. So you first prepare the data, then do tokenization or chunking of the data. Then select an embedding uh, technology and then create an embedding and store it into vector database. So when user come and query the large language model, what happens is user prompt will send to a vector search, will do a similarity search using vector database, then get the result from vector DB, combine it with uh, the context. So create an enhanced context and send it to LLM. And LLM will use this context and create a response to user. Okay, now let's look at the uh, the flow in a different presentation. So, and with some code examples. So document loading, we can, uh, in my case, I'm using directory loader to load the file from a directory from your computer. And then we we'll do a splitting of the documents. And after that, we'll do a indexing, uh, create an embedding and index it into Pinecone database using this from documents API. Then retrieval, so that is the similarity search provided by Pinecone. Uh, so after that, we utilize Longchain to run the query together with the, uh, the documents retained from the uh, previous query. So next, without further ado, let me run through the code. So, uh, okay, first of all, let me tell you what are the data and what's the data I'm using. So I have been, uh, I've, in this example, I'm using the Hugging Face data sets. It's a tweet to text full. So it's a bunch of uh, tweets from Twitter, uh, now which is an X, so no longer Twitter. Anyway, so the document will be stored in the CSV and put into the project directory. Then let me just quickly browse through the uh, Pinecone user interface. So you will see in Pinecone UI, you will see a uh, index together with some of the uh, configurations like environment, pod tab, dimension of uh, your index number of ports. And if you click on the index, you are able to see some of the data in already indexed in this uh, Pinecone. Okay, now let's move to the code. Okay, first of all, I'll show you how I did the indexing. So then here's the code. First load the configurations, which we can skip. Then uh, we will use this, uh, we have created one measure to load the data from directory. So this is a directory loader. Uh, and before that, I have already placed the CSV file in the project directory. Uh, so after we load the data, we'll do a splitting based on the chunk size we predefined. Okay, then we'll initialize the Pinecone instance. Uh, and also define the inbinding model, which is ADA2 here we are using. Then we will be calling the Pinecones API from documents by passing in the docs, as well as the define inbinding 
and the index name. So after creating the Pinecone index, we can take a look at how the REC flow works. So first of all, we'll again initial, initialize the Pinecone index and define a method to use the Pinecone's uh, similarity search. Okay, as well as defining a model from a large language model, which is the GPT 3.5 Turbo. And also initialize the LLM uh, using Launching API, so the chain we have created here. So then after that, we'll create the query, which is uh, a very common uh, context we have in the sample in our Hugging Face database. So it's COVID-19 uh, COVID related, as well as LVMH. So in the similarity search, we'll get relevant documents with LVMH. And then we pass the re response to the chain uh, together with the query. So without further ado, let me run this program, Python, Icon augmented. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first of all, we can see the similar documents retained from a uh, Pinecone Vector database. Then this, the next step will be printing the result from LLM. Just give it a second. It's a bit slow. What's going on here? It's never happened before. I think the connection to GPT may be having some issue must be something wrong with LLM okay let me just try again let's see what's the issue here okay keep on interact interact let's query it again and see whether it works this time okay Querying to uh, VectorDB is working. Connecting to LLM seems like having some issue. And we all know that um, ChatGPT model is not that stable. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay, finally, it shows the results. Okay, LV. MH converted three of its perfume manufacturing facilities into hand sanitizer production facilities during the COVID-19 pandemic. They halted perfume production and started making hand sanitizer, which they delivered free of cost to health authorities. Okay, looks like it working. It works fine. Okay, that concludes my demo for today. Thanks, everyone.